Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to edit an infrared image in On One uh, Photo Editor. So to start out with, um, I'm going to pick one of these images that I took uh, in the sequence of pictures. And uh, I'm going to pick this one right here and double click on it. It brings it up. You'll notice that it changes to kind of a red cast color here. And when you bring them up to view them, they may already be this color because it confuses the software because uh, the colors are off. So the way to fix this in on one is to go to the develop tab and down here to tone and color. And you scroll down here to where it says color and you see temperature and you see right over here, there's a K. If you click on this, it shifts it back. Uh, to kind of uh, what it should look like in the infrared before you swap the colors. Now, once we get this, what we want to do is we want to adjust the exposure and the contrast to the way we want it. Uh, this looks pretty good here to me. Now, what we want to do is we want to swap the colors or swap the channels uh, in this. Now, I'm just going to show you how to do it basically and very quickly in on one and in later videos, I'll show you how you can really make some better adjustments using on one. Uh, but to shift the channels in, or in uh, on one, you use a channel mixer just like you would if you were using Photoshop or another photo editor that had the capability. Uh, but in on one, we actually click on the effects tab over here and go add filter. And if we go here and select channel mixer, it gives us the channel mixer. Now we can manually um, mix the channels, but on one actually has an IR swap uh, preset already set up. So if we click on that, you'll see it switches the color. So now the sky is kind of a blue cyan color and the foliage is now kind of a reddish orange orangish color almost a little bit pinkish right there uh, we can adjust the sky and the foliage colors uh, as well or we can do our own kind of customized color swap which i'll go into in another video so that's how you uh edit an infrared image in on one now if you want to what you can actually do is you can go back and go to to browse again and we can go here and we can go to uh, copy settings right here and if we do that and then we select we can select select all of the uh, images that we took in the shoot if we want or we can just select some of them we can go here and select them and then we can uh, paste the settings and it will apply the settings that we did and you'll see it will automatically switch those settings. Now, the good thing about this is we'll have to go to each image to adjust the exposure and, and do whatever adjustments we want, but you can actually uh, do this to an entire uh, shoot so that you can have a better idea of what the final product might look like, uh, or, or just have a kind of a base where you can see the sky is blue and the foliage is, is a red or a pinkish color. So that's how you uh, edit infrared images in On One Photo Editor. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time.